Hey everybody, it's Lynette, Prepping on a Budget. Um, we're going to can some potatoes. These are the ones uh, in the other recent video that I just dug up. Some of these I am going to keep out for baking potatoes, but like something like this is way too big. So it's going to go into a canning jar. This, same, same. Um, the ones that have bad spots like that, I'm going to cut those out and can those. The small ones, I'm just going to put those into a jar. And then some of the smaller ones, like this, and those are pretty good baking size for us. You know, you might have to bake two or three, but, well, depending on how many people you're feeding, two or three a piece, perhaps. <laughs> I'm trying to pick out the ones that don't have any kind of spots. You know, the other video I said, you know, the ants, we do have quite the ant problem here. And I'm afraid that these little these little spots like that, which is directly related to the ants, they may go bad in the basement if I don't um, go ahead and do something with them. I, and, you know, you get one bad potato, even you know, if they're barely touching, light, laying out next to each other, then everybody's going to go bad. So I'm going to go through those, and um, then I'll show you what I do to can mine. I'm going to... Go put my uh, jars and my lids and my rings into the dishwasher. That'll keep my jars hot and then the rings and the lids, I'm sorry, those are going in a little pot of water on top of the stove just to warm those up and to sterilize them. And over there is my canner. It's looking kind of sad right now, but I've got approximately three inches of water in the bottom of that. And um, I'm going to start cutting potatoes up now. I'll be back in a minute. Basically, I'm just I'm quartering, quarter, quartering them, and then quartering again. They go into the colander. I wash them off about two or three times. Um, that way to get all the dirt off and so forth. And I'm gonna say too, when it comes to your jars, as long as your jars get heated up, occasionally I either put them in the dishwasher or I will put them in the oven at 170 degrees. They need to be warm. Um, so that when you put your uh, product in there, now the potatoes you'll see in just a minute, I pour hot boiling water over them, and then everything goes into the canner as the water is starting to heat up. First of all, sanitation reasons, you want to keep everything hot, and uh, second of all, it keeps uh, the temperature sort of constant with your jars and your water, and uh, that way, hopefully, you won't bust a jar. And sometimes I just put the jar into uh, my water bath canner and let them heat up that way. Uh, but right now the water bath is tied up, so uh, into the dishwasher they went. All right, so now the jars are out of the dishwasher, and um, they're full of potatoes. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt to each jar and fill it up with boiling hot water up to the bottom of the neck of the jar. Then I will go in and get my uh, lids and rings, put these on, and put them into the canner. But I'll show you that when we get that far. Potatoes to me are, are just very simple to can. I'm just putting the water in here now with my handy dandy one funnel fits all size jars. I love that thing. I wish I had invented it. It just folds up like a little accordion there, the green part there at the bottom. It fits your small mouth, large, large mouth, and the uh, little half pint sizes. Alright, so I'm going to finish this. I'm going to go get my rings and my lids, put those on there, and I will be back. And just that quick, we are ready to go put these into the pressure canner. The jars are hot, uh, the lids and rings are still quite warm, and the water is just now heating up in the pressure canner. So I'm going to carry these in there, drop them so in. Now I have the jars into the canner. I'm going to place the lid on, secure it down. I'm not going to talk a lot about that because every canner is different. 
So please be sure and read uh, your manufacturer's instructions on water level, the way that um, the, I'll call it a machine because it is in my opinion, how it works, um, how to operate it, and how to be sure you've got the right pressure. All right, so the pressure is off. It processed for 40 minutes. Um, at the end of 40 minutes, I killed the heat and let it sit here until the chimney went back down and the thing quit jiggling. Again, please follow the instructions for your particular canner. But that means I can safely remove the lid now. And I'll show you what the potatoes look like. And there are the potatoes. Uh, maybe... A couple of them, most of them were all still boiling. Yeah, you, know, you can see it there when I took them out. And uh, that's a good sign. So I'm going to sit here, let them cool off. I transferred them over to a uh, cardboard box is actually what that is. I used that to transfer them with because they are extremely hot. And um, I'll let them cool. I do not store uh, my canning uh, I do not store it with the rings on there anymore because I learned this year that pretty much uh, where we have them stored it just draws moisture and they tend to rust so I started taking the, the uh, rings off prior to storing them and hopefully that will eliminate that whole entire issue so <laughs> that's it the potato canning 101 pretty simple they look good and they will taste great. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody.